There's a Crick Buzz centre stage. Adam Collins and Harsha Bogley. India have come away with a fantastic victory. Very close fought here at Adelaide Oval, Harsha. It was Coley, it was Dhoni. Dinesh Kartik very important at the end as well, which have levelled the series at one apiece. What a brilliant game of cricket. It was. It was Bhuvanesh or Kumar as well. Yes. If you remember, we said in our preview, the two people we wanted to watch out for in this tournament, in this three-game series, were Bhuvaneshwar Kumar and Dhoni to see if Bhuvaneshwar would come back from injury, to see if Dhoni still had it in him. Uh, I, I thought he was a bit sluggish in the first game. The situations, you might say, warranted that. And today he played his role to perfection. And you can see how everybody else played their role as well. Uh, Dhoni has been, is like the mega star in the movies. You can't be the mega star all your life. But Dhoni is now playing those wonderful character roles, you know, those very strong, powerful character roles in the movies. The hero's role or the lead role may be played by Kohli, but he's still playing those powerful character roles. And I thought that was what we saw today. He brought a calmness to the situation. What I enjoyed the most was to see how the Jugalbandi between Dhoni and Kohli worked. Because Kohli realized, I need to give Dhoni a few overs here. And so straight away in the 32nd, 33rd over, he took on Berendorf, he hit him for mm. a six. Then he hit Nathan Lyon for a six. And in doing so, he gave Dhoni the time that he needed and then Dhoni gave him that investment with a with wonderful return by finishing off the game for him. I thought even Dinesh Karthik took the pressure off Dhoni because I think the plan was Dhoni will be batting at the end. And so someone has to take a chance. Dinesh Karthik did that well and uh, Kohli did that magnificently. What a hundred. For being there in the final scene, Dhoni putting his yes. hand in the air, waving to the crowd. No bat yeah, wave. Just I to, saw your tweet. It, yeah. it felt as though it might have just been like a, accepting the best supporting actor award at the Oscars in a couple of months time. It, let, yeah. let, let's reflect on Dhoni because we, we, we all came to a similar conclusion. Indeed, Rohit Sharma at Stumps at Sydney a couple of nights ago said, set Dhoni up the order because yes. we're not sure he can necessarily finish down the order, but we saw a good composite role that Dhoni played tonight. Like you say, Virat was integral to laying the foundation, but I don't know, maybe Dhoni's got a few tricks left in him yet at the end of the game. Or maybe Dhoni can still bat at four and get even more deliveries in to be able to finish, to be able to finish even better. And then maybe Raidu, who likes to get along as well, yep. maybe he can move to five. That's still eminently possible. But, uh, but the Dhoni wave, I have, uh, I, I don't think anybody can claim to know Dhoni, <laughs> but I've seen Dhoni now since 2004-05. When you won, when India won the 2007 World T20, when they won the 2011 World mm -hmm. Cup, Dhoni was never centre stage. It's not like Dhoni to take centre stage. I've in, in, interviewed him in presentations and I said, aren't you ever going to talk about your role? He said, no, I've got a team around me. And that's why I understood that beautiful photograph of yours where he's just doing that. He's not going, he's not going that. that, that that's, for, that's for the little actors who need to, who, who need the spotlight. Dhoni owns the spotlight, he doesn't need that. And Virat Kohli's playing a similar role, a more humble role we've seen this summer, certainly in the back half of the Test Series, now into the one days. He did his bit, he made 100. His 39th 100 in one day international cricket. Look out, Sachin, Virat's coming for you. He'll probably have his record by the end of the year, the way that he's going at the moment. The ultimate professional never really gave a chance until he was in the 90s, nothing meaningful in any case. Um, the way he's able to manipulate the field in the middle overs, still find the rope as required to let the pressure valve off. He, he's, he's just superb when they're chasing. He was, he was wonderful. Uh, I've often said in commentary that he's got a GPS in his mind about where the fielders are, but he's also got a computer in his mind. We talk about win whiz and we talk about all yeah. these stats, giving you the, uh, looking at the target and giving you victory. I think the best run chasing wizard going around is in Virat Kohli's head. He just knows when to up it, when, when to give himself a couple of overs. And I, I, I thought today's innings, it was all set up for Virat Kohli to be 135, 140 not out. And that and that bottom-handed flick, yeah. how many times have we seen that go either one bounce or over the boundary? It wasn't to be, but what it did was it gave Dinesh Karthik a sense of responsibility and he brought him back. So the, the series is level 1-1. One, one. I actually thought it might be 2-0. I thought India were favourites going in. So you've got to acknowledge that Australia played really well in, in, in this game to take it to 298 and they have a couple of issues, with especially the third seamer, but uh, uh, yeah, wonderful result. Yeah, we're well, looking at the Australian batting innings. You've been watching Sean Marsh play uh, yes. harsher since the 2008 IPL, when he, of course, was player of the tournament. He's only played 63 one-day internationals. It seems incongruous given uh, the talent he's got with the white ball. You said it on the television commentary today that you feel as though he's more regarded as a white ball player outside of Australia than he is inside Australia. And now he may very well be the glue that holds this side together as they work towards the World Cup. Sometimes it's good to look from outside in 
So and and that is why I sometimes welcome someone like a Michael Vaughan talking about Indian cricket yeah. from the outside. If I was looking at Australian cricket, Sean Marsh would be on my top first five people picked for the World Cup. He would bat three maybe at the World Cup because I think he's a very special white ball batsman. Something gets liberated in Sean Marsh when he's wearing coloured clothing and white uh, and, and 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 a white ball. I see glimpses of that in Peter Hanscom as well. A little bit of freedom coming out. And there's one other player that I think the world outside looks at very differently than Australian, that's Glenn Maxwell. Yeah. Because I, I don't know what Glenn Maxwell is doing playing a finisher at number seven. I and mean, he played that role today, so he might just have forced himself into that situation for a little longer. But um, Maxwell's not a finisher, Maxwell's a top order player. I'm afraid to say Glenn Maxwell will continue batting number seven. I asked Justin Langer about it at the media conference start and he, and he said as much. He sees Maxwell's best position at number seven closing the innings. As for India, you mentioned maybe a third seamer problem. Mohamed Siraj, he blew hot and cold, didn't he? Some excellent overs where he beat the bat got clouded around in other parts of the game. Uh, Kuldeep Yadav, they, they got on top of Kuldeep for the first time arguably ever today. Australia have traditionally performed poorly against him. Likewise, Jadeja, when it came to Sean Marsh, he used his feet quite nicely. So it is, it is actually shaping up for quite a good decider in Melbourne on Friday. I'll be interested in seeing whether Virat Kohli is comfortable with playing three spinners. If the, if the MCG is deep enough, yep. if he can use Chahal inside the first 10 overs, and then use Kuldeep and Jadeja as, as he goes along. It would just be that with so many left-handers to have Chahel and Jadeja bowling at the same time may not be easy. But if you go with the principle that you pick your best five bowlers, then you must play three spinners over there. But it's all a question of how Kohli sees him balance, himself balancing the attack. Does he need a seamer to come back in and not have to protect all the overs at the end? Uh, so they'll have to pick one of the two. I mean, you, you're entitled to a bad game. I, I, I get the feeling Siraj is a slightly nervous kind of person. But if you think Khalil deserves another game, then you must give Khalil another game. What we know is it was an awful lot of fun here at Adelaide Oval tonight. We oh, saw a cracking exactly. game of cricket on Crick Buzz Centre Stage. Adam Collins and Harsha Bogley, we can't wait to get back to Melbourne for the Decider on Friday.